So indexing is very important part of a database management system. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is indexing and what is its importance and how do you do it in the MongoDB database. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack software developer. And in this video series, I'm teaching MongoDB to beginners. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what is indexing and its importance in the software development life cycle and how you can do in the MongoDB instance itself. So if you are new here, I would suggest you to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss any awesome videos in web development anytime. So first, let's talk about what is index. I hope you all know the basic concepts of database, like how the database stores data in the data itself. There are tables in the database and in the MongoDB, we, we have collections and in each collections, we have documents. So each document is a new entry for each new entry in that particular collection. So let's say if I create a collection of users in which I'm going to store the data of a user inside that collection. So whenever I'm going to enter a new user information inside that collection, then a new document will be created and after a while there will be a lot of data in this collection right so one of the basic challenge which you me or any developer will face that to find a particular document from this collection right so let's say if I created a new collection in which I put thousand documents but later on there will be millions of documents inside that right so our aim is to make and design the collection in such a way that if I want to search any particular a document then i can search it very easily right and how we can do that we can you do that using indexing so see, index is a very simplest form of improvement that you should apply to your database i mean let me define this indexing in very simplest form so in book you have indexes and indexes have chapters and sub chapters right so if you want to find a topic inside this whole book you have to know the chapter right so first you go to that chapter and that inside that you go to that subtopic so instead of going through the whole book, you just use the index to get to that particular point and then you open exactly that page and get this topic which you want to read, right? Exactly applies to the index in the database. So if you want to find a user from a user collection, you do, don't have to search the whole database. Instead of that, we can use indexing. So just like page number, you can use any entity as a page number in the for the indexing. So let's say in our user collection, we have the schema in which we have name, uh, address city and email. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm keeping it short. So here, when I'm going to search the user with respect to name, so I will go through all the entries in the database to search that name. So instead of that, I can create an index on any of the field which is very common to a group of people, right? So let's say city, city could be say similar for a group of people, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to implement a indexing on city column. So once I do that, so all the user entry with the same com city will combine in a group and will be kept at one place. In that way, if I want to search a user, then I can use that city index to find that user. And you can also apply indexing on multiple columns and that will reduce the searching time even more. But as I said, that will increase the inserting time as well. And it will also increase the complexity of the structure of the database, which is not much recommended or you can do it, but with very carefully. So let's see how we can apply indexing in MongoDB database practically. So in order to demonstrate this indexing, I have created a separate uh, collection and in which I'm going to apply an index and show you how it helps to make the find or the get query out of this MongoDB instance. So here you can see that we have a text indexing as a new document in which we are going to test our indexing. So I have created this test indexing as a dummy collection in which I have already added 1 lakh entries of a user and a user is the simplest one in which I have added name, city and the age. So here name is just a name with some random number appended to it. And age is also are just random numbers and city we have divided the whole lakh users into 10 different cities so each city will have 10,000 users so this is the simplest example which i can think of on top of my mind to demonstrate you the importance of indexing now let's first see what are the default indexes available in the collection so for that i'm going to open a new tab and here i'm going to run some command so instead of find i'm going to say get indexes and this method will get me all the indexes only so in any collection by default we have indexes on id column 
so here you can see we have this id so what we are going to do we are going to add an indexing on city as well and this indexing will keep all the users from the same city in a same place so first let's make a query to get the all the users from a single city and we'll see how much time will it take to make that query so let's do that so i will just copy this i will open a new tab and in this finding i will add a city as you can see that we have city you can add any number 0 to 10 or 4 so once i read this i will get all the users from city 4 so if i open any of these i can see that we have this city city 4 so instead of this i will do a count so once i run this so you can see that we have 10000 in each city correct so let's do one thing i what i will do i will get a stat of this so that we will know how how much time it takes to find all the users from a single city so for getting the stats we have to add explain and in this you have to say execution stats execution stats so once you run this now you will get how much time will it took to actually run this query so in the execution plan you can see execution time milliseconds is 92 milliseconds okay so and return values are 1000 so now the next step will be adding an index on the city column and run this query again so let's do that so i will open a new tab to create a new index so creating index is simple you just have to say create an index and in this you have to pass the column so here i will say city and the value will be one so this will create an index on city so let's run this so once i run this we have some values written and in this return value you can see we have number of indexes before as one and after we have two so we can also run get index again and once you run this you will get two different and the second one will be city so you can see here it is city so now let's test that stat again so here if i run this again so i open this so here execution stats execution time is almost half now so it is 50 milliseconds and same results are returning from this so this is how you can reduce the execution time by adding indexing on the any column so you have to be very careful when you are adding an indexing and you have to be choose the column wisely so that you can get the most benefit out of this indexing in your application and also if you want to run your mongodb queries in such a beautiful way then you can use robo 3d which is a free interface available to run any database so here i'm just using mongodb you can use any other DDB as well and you have to keep in mind that more indexes you introduce in your collection the faster the get query will be but the put or the adding query will be slower i hope you got the basic idea of indexing and so if you want a video on detail of indexing in mongodb then you can comment it down so that i can pick it up in the next video thanks for watching and before leaving hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that